I think that's why a lot of people quit this game and never look back. It's because the in like the and I, honestly I would I would think something like the loot is a is a really good example as to why people quit. It's not fun to run around like if if you have to get looted for like you have to run around and loot for right now I'm running around this house looking for a gun. There is clearly no gun so far. Got a couple of attachments and whatnot. That would be really nice. There we go. Oh, well, maybe I can get some S12. Nice. Thanks, dude. He, st he stopped to pick up the compensator on the way into the room. That would have been the difference. If he had not stopped to pick up the compensator, he would have he lived and probably killed me. I still have no sight on my sky. I didn't find a red dot or all or anything yet. Oh well. Sometimes you waste flare guns. I'm not saying that the gunplay needs to be easier. But I... Oh, what? Where... Like, that was that guy sitting there the whole time? I looked at the dump truck. I wonder what the hell that guy was doing. Thanks a lot, level 3 best. This is a mutant trying to fight a car 98. Let's all wait for the car 98 and the kill feed. Playing with fire, mutant guy. And he's dead. <laughs> Come on, mutant guy. You're better than this. through that. Oh, man. I gotta slow down, place my shots a little bit better.
how do you make the game newbie friendly? Well, you make the means of... I honestly think you make the, the barrier to entry a little bit better or easier. I want to push this guy a little bit. <laughs> he just seems so clueless. But that, those are the people that kill you with a pump action shotgun because you're not expecting it mid-game, so... Um, I think you make the barrier to entry a little bit easier for players. Uh, mostly along the lines of... Uh, oh, man. Like, I think if you turn the loot up... Okay, alrighty, here we come. That was risky. I could have died there in the vaulting animation. Holy f Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that right there. Show on this guy if he'll let me. That's a good peek back there, actually. I like that one. I don't know what I want to do with this guy. I'm gonna throw a smoke. See if he'll hold the peek. That's enough to cover my escape. He throws a nade whenever the situation calls for it. Yeah, that's pretty normal. I mean, nades are extremely powerful. You know, I, I, uh, there, the video on today's, the, the video from today, uh, blah, blah, blah. the YouTube video from today, like the, the reason I get all hyped up about the last grenade is because I've been dying to grenades, like very consistently. Like I'd been getting naded all the time. So I just threw like a bunch of grenades in that game in the last, cause I was like, I made a point of stockpiling grenades. So that guy that I was fighting in the end of the, of the game had a legitimate chance to win, but because his cover could be destroyed by grenades, I just threw four grenades or three or four grenades at him and won the game without having really to engage him. And my gear was better and all that stuff. But instead of using the Mark 14, I just sprayed him with grenades instead. And I blew him up. Easy peasy. Blew his cover up and then blew him up too. If you play the game every day, if you are a veteran player or a high volume player like Chaco, like if you don't listen to me, that's fine. But listen to, like Chaco plays this game more than I do by a significant margin. He plays 10 hours a day every single day. I kind of tap out around six, seven hours. I can't play more than that because I, I don't take a break. So anyway, Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about, man. Like, he's a smart dude. Obviously, he's a friend of mine, but he's a smart guy. And, like... Oh, hello. Uh, and, uh, you know, swag, pro players, everyone is saying the same thing. Most people who disagree with the grenade nerfs are people who play, like, you know, three, four hours a day or something like that. Or less. Maybe a week. Sponsored by Chaco? No. I just think that if you talk to pro players about grenades... Those guys deal with more grenades than anybody else. Because in pro play, if you think an enemy is somewhere, you throw a grenade. If you get a knock, you throw four more grenades. <laughs> that's how that's how the competitive meta works right now. People are people are carrying like no ammo for their primaries and like seven grenades, because that's how good they are.
I don't think it should take two grenades to knock or kill. I think that they should do like, you know, like a like an in your pocket grenade should do 90 damage. Like that's going to kill a lot of people. If you get into a gunfight and then throw a grenade at someone's feet where they're trying to med. Yeah, you're going to you're going to kill that guy. Hmm, question marks. Yeah, what the heck? What are you coming this way for? Okay, I want to get out ahead of the, the great Pachinki migration here. So where you want to be is down in this compound, but it's going to be probably playing around the hills if I want to live. I was wondering if I want to take this guy's U.S. since he was so kind enough to donate it to me. Probably not. Where can I go? I can go over this thing. And, yeah, I got a little bit of little bit of play here. Not a lot. Just name twenty four. All right, late people. Where are you? There's a guy who's way over there. Oof. Oof. Oh, rip that guy. Number one killed number three. Is that car in? It's not in. Good guy. Uh, also, uh, GG's because we lose because the uh, compound is in. So one guy for sure in the compound, plus maybe another guy sharing it with him, but I don't know where to go now. Maybe the warehouse? What did I just hear? Oh my god, I thought it was a helmet. <laughs> I thought it was a helmet in the grass. We do have an approach. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, they both got to be in the houses because we got Mark 14, M24. Oh, the rocks are a play. I don't think the rocks are in though. The crate landed next to these guys too. Oh boy. I'm in, I don't really need to go in there. probably should though they're gonna know there's a guy in the warehouse mainly because I just threw a freaking flashbang in here okay that's the other guy I needed to know about the SKS so we got SKS mark 14 m24 SKS got one guy that's good to know I think we want to play for the last couple of circles and hope that they come out Nice-ish. I want to get info. I can't see where anybody is. Like, the garage building stays in, so that guy's not moving an inch. I want to see if the SKS guy dies, though. Oh, okay. There goes my leeway outside. See, now I'm kind of... Yeah, I need to wait for the circle to close. There's no way around it. So I just said, nice, kill that dude for me. All right. Can I stay in? I think I can stay in here. Yep. So I just need to stay in the boxes so I don't get blown up. Somebody die over there, please. Okay, that's... Kind of wished it was the other guy who died. I might still lose this. Level 3 gear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke him. Make him come out blind.
GG's. GG's. So, just a quick breakdown as to what... Okay, I'm going to actually do a little... A, a tiny PUBG Academy on this one. I want to show... I actually was really nervous there. I'm going to show you guys... Um, the, the, the This is a good way to use smokes in the end game when you don't have a lot to play with. Man, I'm actually shaking. That was... that. I don't get this feeling from PUBG very often. But this was a... This is a game I wanted to win. Okay, so let's take a quick overview of the last three situation here. So we have the garage building in play, or it's about to come out of play. Or is it? No, it's staying in for this circle. So we have Rogue here, who is the level three dude. He's got the M24 and the Mark 14. And we've got Sergeant Toe over here, who I believe is about to get murdered. Uh, this is the SKS guy. And then you have me over here. So the, this, is a, this is a tough compound because of how powerful this building is. This building here is very powerful, and, it, and the one that I was playing earlier over there, this guy, is also a powerful spot on, the, on both sides of Pachinki. So obviously you get lots of vision here. It's hard to approach this building without getting stuck on the fence line, the debris, and whatever the hell else uh, that happens around here. So the warehouse position is the only really good counter to this, but you're basically countering for a headshot. Now I can't do that because... I have a level 2 helmet. This guy's got a Mark 14 and an M24 plus a level 3 helmet. I have an SKS. I mean, I would need to hit a pretty sick shot to get this guy without getting aim punched and killed. So, let's just watch it play out. I think Sergeant Toe is about to die. He's just crawling. Sir? Sir? He's like, oh. <laughs> You're going for the M24 right there. You dumb idiot. What are you doing, Ro? Are you out of your mind? You're going for a shot like that right there? Oh my god, you dummy. Okay, so now he's lost his house which is going to slow him down significantly. If he had killed him there, he's got all the time in the world to plan for me. But he didn't do that. Luckily, he's got a full auto Mark 14. And he's about to obliterate this poor guy. But that was just... Come on, bro. He even took one in the face because of it. I bet you I broke his helmet afterwards. Okay, well, all right, well, uh, quality of opponents aside, now, now that I know that it's the Mark 14 guy, so you basically, you have, to, you have to look at the way the circle's set up. So this is the circle. I do keep the warehouse, so I do have an advantage, but it's mostly center. So even if the circle is perfectly center here, everybody has to come out of their cover for the most part, okay? Unless he wants to... Put himself in the office which is not a great position to be in because you can get naded very easily from there so this is where i want to max my boost i think i might have already done so and i'm already getting ready to throw my smoke so what i want to do here is i want to throw a smoke grenade right here because the two primary exits in this building are going to be the garage not only can you exit from the garage you can peek from the garage as well because i have to come out eventually from the mouth of the warehouse not only that but if you have vision from there, you can throw grenades into the warehouse and keep me pinned in there and let the time continue to elapse. Okay, so by throwing a smoke to the front of the garage, you're essentially eliminating the primary exit point. So that means the guy either has to run out this way and come around, which is possible, but he still can't see. Or he has to come this way and come around, and that's bad because I have a much better angle to attack there. And that's what he ends up doing. So the smoke comes out. He actually stops thinking it's a grenade, backs away. I could have actually thrown the smoke a little further. I probably should have want I probably wanted to put the put it right here. But I heard the glass break. I know he's going right now. Break the fence and now I start to pressure with grenades. First grenade comes out. Puts a grenade. That forces him away from the house and into the open. I saw him move. Go for the spray, nothing there. So now this is the problem with the smoke for this guy is he knows exactly where I am, but he can't see a goddamn thing. Like this guy is 100% blind. So he has to now decide, do I peek right out of cover or do I peek left out of cover? And I think he ends up going left. 
So this is like an offensive smoke. So I've taken his vision away. And now he's got to decide to let the smoke dissipate. But the grenade again lands, forces him out and left. And then it's just a straight, like I'm actually wide peeking this guy. This is, if I'm going to make a recommendation is don't peek like this. Like, hey, what up, dog? Like, I'm just... I could have made this peak a lot smaller. This is a bad, a really bad peak for me. That's how you lose games. That's, a, that's, I'm glad I'm watching this. And then it's, and then it's delete. So luckily that, that the grenade would have been right next to him too. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, GG's, but that, that, that offensive smoke placement, you can use that in a lot of different situations in the game. If you have to come out of the zone or if a guy has to push you out of cover, if you throw a smoke in his face, it's really going to make him do a lot of wacky things because this takes away so much opportunity from this guy to peek from the window first before he moves, come out of the garage, all the things I just said. So anyway, just a little recap there for you. Also, don't peek like a total dummy like I did. Rogue, you're in the chat. Nice, nice game, dude. Question marks on the M24 shot on the prone guy. Mm-mm. <laughs> but geez dude i saw you i saw you out there